Hi, in this particular video we're looking at a quadratic sequence. Now there's a number of different techniques of how to do this and the one I'm going to show you is just something that's, that's stuck in my mind and it's a way of doing it that I think uh, I just remember every single time. If you do it exactly the same way then it should work out for you with every question that you come across. Basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to come up with a description of the sequence and the general form of it is a n squared plus b n plus c. So all we're going to do is we're going to work out the value of a, b and c. Now what people are usually aware of is that with quadratic sequences we need to work out what's called the second difference. So this is the first difference between each of the numbers and the second difference works out in this particular sequence as 4. And most people are aware that the second difference is actually the value of 2 times a. In other words, it's double this one. So therefore, using what we've got so far, we can say that a equals 2. And that's the first number that we're going to put into here. OK, now I do appreciate this is... Uh, uh, quite a difficult type of concept. So if you're not sure about quadratic sequences, please do have a look at the notes and follow through as we are at the moment. And hopefully you'll be able to do this every single time. OK, so the next little bit, and this is where um, there's a slight change. What I do is I draw three arrows with the first two numbers. And that's why I've called this particular video the easy way. And the bit that you have to remember between all of uh, on these videos is that we've got this value of a here as two, but also I'm gonna give you a slight formula which is three a plus b, and that equals the difference between the first two numbers, which in this case is four. Okay, well, you need to remember that. Now, if you remember that, then you should be able to work through these in the same way every single time. So, if I've got a value of a, which is 2, I can just plug that straight into here, and I'm going to get 6 plus b equals 4. So, if I then take 6 away from both sides, I've now got my value of b, which is going to be minus 2. So, that's actually my second value that goes here. And then the final little bit is you need to remember this as a plus b plus c equals, in this particular case, the first number, which is why I put the two arrows there. So the first number is 5. OK, and then we just plug in the information that we've got. So we know that a is 2, b is minus 2, and notice here we've got a plus and a minus together. So those two actually, in this sequence, will cancel themselves out. And then I've got c, which I don't know, and that equals to 5. So 2 plus minus 2 is exactly the same as saying 2 minus 2, which is 0. So 0 plus c equals 5, so therefore c equals 5. OK, and then we just simply put it straight back into the formula. So in this particular case, I'm going to say that a equals 2, so that's 2n squared plus b, which is minus 2 minus 2n plus, in this particular case, c is 5. Five. OK, just need to tidy that up a little bit here. It doesn't look quite right. And a plus and a minus together, we make those two into a minus. So the answer to the question is 2n squared minus 2n plus 5. And that will be the answer to this particular question. OK, so the key issues with this is you need to remember the second difference is 2 of a. And therefore, a is half of it. You need to then remember 3a plus b equals the difference between the first two numbers. And then you need to remember that a plus b plus c is equal to the first number. OK, now there are explanations as to why this happens, but essentially that's the way that we deal with quadratic sequences. I hope that's been OK for you. There's going to be other videos within this particular playlist. Please have a look and you'll see that I'm going to apply exactly the same principles with all of the different quadratic sequences that I need to deal with. I hope that's OK. Uh, please do add a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thank you.